guys what's going on this is pomp here and today i'm going to be doing a little guide on how to reverse with any cannon and how reversing itself actually works now this has been a concept for many many years now it's probably been like four or five years since reversing was discovered because quite it, it works in an easy way and i'll explain that right now um most reverses work with a one block differential between the rev power and the hammer. Now, on cannons such as this one, like I'll, I'll be showing it on this one as well as this one, um, your rev power actually turns into your hammer, and your hammer actually turns into your slab bust, if that makes sense, because you'd be using your hammer to boost your slab bust up, and I'll show how to do that in a second. Um, with cannons that are intended to reverse such as uh, one stack of reverses like this one reverse hybrids rev lefties uh, rev midairs anything like that usually has a slab differential between it so half a block just like this so it'd be the rev power and the hammer um, with rev hybrids and such you usually have a designated rev power such as this one as well as a designated hammer which shoots up with the sand um, just like a parallel fusion and uses order events V's to sack. If not, it just gets more complicated. And I don't want to go into it right now. But um, that's basically how it works. What it does is you'll have a TNT right here that blows up before this one right here that's under it. Therefore, it boosts it up. The more um, rev power you have, the faster and farther it's going to go up before it explodes. So if you have 300 rev power, and a one tick difference between your rev power and your hammer it's still going to hit up there but if you only have say 10 rev power and um, a one tick difference it might only go 50 60 blocks before blowing up um, so we're going to start out showcasing this cannon and kind of how this works this is just a simple one stacker rev um, what it does is it shoots your rev power right here it falls down onto this block right here but keep in mind it's actually more um, it's actually more like this when the trap door is there then this slab pushes out on top just like that and um, so now your TNT is in between these two blocks right here and it shoots out at the guider level of right here is where it'll shoot out at um, your hammer that's going up, should I call it, shoots in through the barrel right here and doesn't have anything pushing it down or going in front of it, so it hits right here. So this is kind of how this comes into play. This is intended to rev, so it uses this design that's specifically for reversing. Um, yeah, but that's just a very simple concept that's been around for a while. I'll, show you, I'll shoot to show you guys real quick. I do want to say that it is important to turn off your sand before reversing. Um, I turn my sand on by doing that, but it's important to take it off when reversing because, say for example, you have a specific site you, spot you want to be at. If it goes up, say, right here, and your TNT and sand are right here, and it blows up, um, your sand will fall down right here and might ruin your backboard. So I do suggest taking sand off, and I'll show you on that cannon. Um, another way of doing this, as I said right here, um, is a one block differential. So, if I were to put my trapdoor right here, then when this falls down, it's gonna be flat in line with the ground, and this will be on top. So it's gonna be an exactly one block differential. This slab won't affect it. It won't come up to the top of the slab due to the TNT being completely horizontal against each other. So it'll travel on this plane right here, not one like this. So we're going to shoot it like this and show you kind of at the wall. I'll slow it down too. Alright, so as you saw, it revved up. And now we'll do a shot in slow-mo with the trapdoor so that it's a slab differential not a 
um, full bar. So there you go, that kind of reverses. Now we're onto this one right here. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to rev with any cannon. This is a 20 auto that I used two days ago on the raid. It's a really old cannon, made in like 2016, but it still works great. So um, you have to know how your guider works. You can see that our sand shoots in right here and will come up to the top of this guy right here because it does prioritize Y over X when shooting out. So it will come to the top of this guider right here. Let me get a yellow one. So it will come to the top of this guider right here. Your slab bust will also come to the top of this guider right here. Um, what's it called? We don't really need to worry about how close things are together and like parallel fusioning and all that stuff for this scenario. But um like exposures don't matter in this scenario because we're shooting so close but at long range this might be affected um so we know that these two are on this guider and the hammer is on this guider because it's pushing out right here um so let's take a look at this very quick so to make it rev the most efficient way with the best effect would be to um let's go play real quick the best way I would suggest is um, to have your slab bust at this guider and put in a slab right here so that this sand or this TNT is at this guider. It's just about um, one and a half block difference, but it's still pretty efficient. So you now want to turn off your sand. I definitely suggest so. My kind of, I can just take it off right there. And um, you want to add some ticks to the slab bus. I turn off one shot. There's no need for it. So I'm going to add two ticks to the slab bus just like that. So it has a little bit of room to go upwards. And now it should reverse. Let's turn it off the clock. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Bleached! We bleached! We bleached! We in! So there you go. That's how it works, basically. And um, that's almost how to reverse with any cannon parallel fusions can be slightly different say for example if everything is in the guider the way parallel fusions work it kind of looks like this um your guider setup so say for example you have a parallel fusion your slab would be right here um you would have to rev using your slab bust because your slab bust would travel upwards to right here your sand and slab bus travel upwards to right here and then straight forward to your wall right here they will fall one block like this and then your hammer will do the same thing and they'll travel up here and then to right here so this is kind of how parallel fusions work um next thing you want to do is well, you don't want sand on if you're reversing first off, as I said. But um, because your slab bust is underneath your hammer, it is easier to just have more ticks on the hammer and the same amount of ticks on the slab bust so that the slab bust boosts it up. But if you have a one TNT slab bust or something like that, um, it can pose a big challenge. So you might want to modify your cannon if you're planning on reversing with a parallel fusion. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I'm probably going to be doing more tutorials in the future. So I'll see you later guys.